I'll just get our presentation po. Hello, Ethan. Good morning. Can you hear Teacher Ala very well? Thumbs up. Can I see a thumbs up? Okay, thank you so much. Teacher will just get our presentation, but you can already get your worksheet. So, it's the same for with last time, Lola, if you are there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. thank you, Lola. Uh, Ethan has done oh. it yesterday, teacher. Come again, po. Nagawa na po niya yung kanyang worksheet. Oh, okay. That's great. So, parang review na lang po for today. Okay. Is that right, Lola? Yes. Okay. Ano po, would you like so, me to send it through your ano, chat box? Yung ginawa niya? Ah, uh, ano? Okay na? Ah, uh, it's it's fine po. Okay. You cannot send it po here in Zoom. Uh, eh. Actually po, he's he's not supposed to do it at home. Ah, uh, okay. Did he want to do it at home po ba? O oh, kahapon, sabi ko, gawin mo na yan at bukas para at least si teacher mo pwede natin isend sa chat box. Ha, sorry okay po, po, sorry. That's noted. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Akala ko para that's at, okay po. after ng kanyang ano, gagawin niya. Ah, okay. No, not necessarily po. Because ah, okay. I want to be with him po while he answers. Ah, okay. It, you know, so... <laughs> but that's also fine po. For today, we'll just discuss his answers. Okay po. And then hopefully, we can proceed with another ratio po. Okay. So since you are already done, okay, I'm still waiting for the presentation. Can you get your worksheet and can you read the first question in there? Okay, there. Okay, okay. Number one down. While I get our worksheet so I can present it on. Read it. Number one. Based on the context, what type of climate is considered tropical? Considered your? Can you do it again? Can you read again? Rather. Based on the context, what type of climate is considered tropical? Okay, so in the question, it's asking for what type of climate. When we talk about climate, especially now, I don't know if it's also a rainy day in your area. Lola, do you live in Montilupa as well po? Apo. Is it raining there or is it a sunny day? Uh, no, it's a sunny. A while ago, it's rainy. It was rainy, okay. Yeah. So, in that case, it talk, when we talk about climate, it talks about weather. Now, the question in there is, what is considered tropical? And may I know what's your answer? Can you read your answer for me? Read the way your answer. What did you write? Hmm. Sige, mm -hmm. Read it. Read it. I want to know if you answered in a full sentence or is it like phrases? Oh, read what have you written. Read. Yeah, your mm -hmm. answer. There, I'm almost done. I'm, I'm about to oh, present the present. Okay. What's your answer? Now for number one. What? That's it? Only one word, Lola? Apo. Okay. So that means uh, we are going to work on how you're going to construct a sentence, okay? Your answer is correct, but it's only a word. So I want you to learn how you're going to answer in a complete sentence. That's fine with you, Ethan? Are you there? You cannot see you. Ah, hi there. So there, your answer is correct. Here, I'm going to present the presentation now. Then I'm going to make it big. Thank you so much for waiting. Here. Because I needed to log in. That's why it took time. There. So this is so much better so you can also see it. Alright. So, based on the context, what type of climate is considered tropical? And in here, you answer that it's warm. So you're actually correct. But what we need to work on is we need to answer in a complete sentence, right? So I wanted to get your pencil with you. Okay, hold on. And then we're going to construct a sentence out of it. That's Columbia. All right. So when we talk about, before we answer this, um, that's why I explain it to you. During the story time, wherein I want you to understand that when they went to a cruise ship the week long, I want you to know that it was on a tropical 
weekend. So when we say tropical, you are right. So here is the word tropical. I'm gonna color it red. What type of climate is considered tropical? So we're going to write, here you go. Wait, I'm gonna make it small. Let me check if this is fine. Uh, okay, there. So based on the context, what type of climate is considered tropical? To make it a complete sentence, we are going to write like this. So wait for a while, I'm gonna type it. Uh, a climate that is considered or well i'm not gonna make it long for you na lang pala. The, a climate that is tropical is warm there oh i think this is too big i'm gonna make it small ah there okay consider tropical is warm here i wanted to um change your answer into a complete sentence so i want you to know your answer is correct but we need to make it a complete sentence so kindly get your pencil and copy what teacher did on screen so it's fine if you're going to write until here in the second line okay because maybe your handwriting is bigger than the one on screen so you still have space to the back yeah so in here in here, you can still write, okay? In this part. So your answer is correct. Kapag sinabi natin tropical, it's warm. So while you're writing your answer, um, it's going to be a complete sentence, okay? Because that's how we answer in our reading comprehension. When you answered warm, ganun tayo mag-answer in the chat box, okay? Teacher is telling you, Okay, uh, I have a question for you, and then you have choices in the chat box. But if it's in school na, or with your teacher, your English teacher, or in other um, school setting, we need to answer in a complete sentence. That's why I want you to write this whole sentence. A climate that is considered tropical is one. So there. I want you to understand that. When there's a question, especially during reading comprehension, you need to understand that you need to answer in a complete sentence. That's why you're writing the whole thing. So, Lola, how will I know if Ethan is done? Uh, <laughs> ayan po, nagsusunod na po siya. Mabagal po ito magsunod kasi may um, ganyan ang eye niya eh. Oh. Okay, you're going to tell me po if he's Apa. done. Apa. Okay po. So there, but um, it's okay if you finish it at home. That means uh, we're just going to make it a complete sentence. Na lang. But technically, your answer is correct. So while you're writing your answer, I'm going to discuss how uh, a tropical climate is warm. Okay na po siya, teacher. So, okay po. So if you are already done, then I'm going to have a follow-up question in the chat box naman tayo para hindi naman mabagod yung so in the chat box, my question for you is, is Philippines, that's our country, considered a tropical country? Here. I wanted to answer with a yes or no. So since you understood that a climate uh, a climate that is considered tropical is warm. That's what we answered in number one. My follow-up question in the chat box is, is Philippines considered a tropical country? Please answer if yes or no. Yeah, I'm going to wait for you. Yes, it is yes. Now, why? Okay. So, um, not that question. You make choices. Is it tropical because we have longer summer or longer rainy days? Yes. Another question for you is 
since you answered that the Philippines is a tropical country, is tropical? Uh, is it tropical because we have longer summer? You can answer with longer summer, or do we have longer rain days? Thank you. So that you will understand how it works with the story, okay? You can answer with, it's okay if it's not a whole sentence in the chat box. But we need to make it a whole sentence in the worksheet. There. Yes, that's correct. We have longer, actually, we have only a few, a few months of summer. But then, in the Philippines, it's mostly Sunday, right? It's only going to be a rainy day. Let's say in Montelupa, um, if if there's like let's say a typhoon, right? But technically, it's mostly sunny day, and that's what makes the Philippines a tropical country because um, majority of the days and the months that we have in a year is a sunny day. So thank you so much for writing your answer in a sentence and also for answering the questions in the chat box. Let's now proceed to number two. Kindly read the question in number two. So I'm going to highlight it again in yellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think the word tradition means? Tra? Tradition means Okay, what do you think the word tradition means? Before you read your answer, I want to go back to the question first. Sorry, I removed the answer number one because I need to go back to the part wherein the tradition was mentioned. So let me just look for it here. I, um, this part, I wanted to read this again. So I want you to remember we also discussed this one during our first day. Here you go. Can you read in yellow? Family time was important to them. And mm -hmm. it was tradition that they spend winter break together. That's correct. So in number two, this is actually uh, connected to the question there. It was Scott's family tradition to spend winter break together. Now, if we're going to compare it to your family, according to Lola, it's a tradition during Holy Week for your family to do visita iglesia. Now, we'll go back to the question. Let me remove this part. For the question in number two, I want you to read your answer for number two. I want to hear it. Let's what do you think is the word tradition? Go ahead and read the first Your answer on the word. Okay. Read. Read your number two. Read it. Read it. Louder. Read it. Customs, feelings, or other known and that is passed down from parents to the children. Oh, that's actually long. <laughs> can we can we try it slower and then I'm going to write it on screen your answer, is that fine? Okay, can you say it one by one? Your one answer by is? One. Oh, one by one, read it one by one. Sorry Lola, I cannot, I don't get the words because it's long. Ah, <laughs> sige Okay. Customs, beliefs. Customs, beliefs, okay. Other knowledge. That other knowledge that is passed down from parents to their children oh okay passed down to parents or their this is actually nice is this your own answer or did you research about the word tradition did you research it did you re did you do it by yourself or uh -huh. by your, ano, I think, nag-consult po siya sa dictionary. Kasi, I think I saw him reading yesterday yung dictionary. 
that's that's nice very nice thank you so much lola and i won't say your answer is wrong so i'm gonna put it here okay but you already know there's no wrong answer but we need to make it in a complete sentence so teacher will help you with that one i'm gonna put your answer in here at the top okay here hi it's there okay this is your answer you said customs believes other knowledge that is passed down to parents or their children. So how are we gonna make it a complete sentence? I'm gonna type it over here. Tradition. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger. Teacher will type it first, okay? Tradition. Uh, Tradition are custom. Oh, here. Um, so that you won't need to write it again, I want you to just add this one. Tradition are here, right? You already put customs beliefs. So I want you to add these two words, na lang. So make it a complete sentence. Okay, gonna encircle. Please only add this one in the beginning. So it's going to be a complete sentence. Because your act your answer is actually correct. Since you were able to research the word tradition, it's right. While you're writing, to make it a complete sentence, it's going to be tradition or customs, beliefs, other knowledge that is passed down to parents or their children. So when we talk about it was passed down to parents or their children, that's what happened in Scott's family. So let's say, for example, maybe during the younger years of his mom or dad, they also have a family tradition to do winter break together. And for you as well, right? Remember in your family. So maybe before, traditional nila Lola to do visita iglesia. And then now that they have grandparents, a grand daughter or son, granddaughter or grandson. They also want you to experience the same thing. So it, that's actually nice. When we are able to, you know, pass down traditions to our family. So are you already done? Can I see it also? With number two. Alright, thank you so much, Kita. Now, let's go to number three. Can you read number three for me, please? We are in here. The phrase a whole different animal is an informal way of saying what? Of saying what? So remember this whole different animal. I actually asked you about this during the part of the story. Let's go back to that one so we can understand it better. Oh, I think it's here. Okay, I'm going to highlight in yellow again. So they use a whole different animal in this part. I wanted to read this part. He had seen the bushes, but seeing the sheep in person was a whole different animal. Correct. So, during this time, he was already browsing the brochures of the ship. But then, when it's time for him to see the real ship in real life, he saw that it wasn't very small, unlike in the pictures. When he saw it, it was very gigantic or enormous in Person. So that's why it was a whole different animal. Now, going back to the question in number three, kindly read. What's your answer? So teacher can write on screen again. He, I'm listening. He was he, impressed with impressed with the size of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she. Oh, that's actually nice. This is very nice. Okay, I'm going to write your answer on screen, okay? 
So, for Ethan, when we talk about a whole different animal, Ethan's answer is he was impressed with the size of the ship, which is actually correct. Good job on this one, Ethan. And you are right. So, when he saw it in the brochure, of course, sometimes, you know, um, it's not all the time. I, even for me, I haven't seen a big ship as big as the one we talked about in the story. But, I see it in pictures. But it's going to be a whole different animal. When we talk about a whole different animal, it means it's a new experience. Like, wow, this is amazing. That's why your answer that he was impressed with the size of the ship is correct. So, the same one. There. Now, since we are done with number three, let's go to number four. Please read number four. Why do you think Scott was surprised that his parents wanted to try surfing? Alright, let's go back to that part of the story. Wherein, he didn't actually really expect that part. So, here, I think it's here. I'm going to highlight that part in... And you read this part in yellow. They wanted to put their swimsuits on as well, and much to Scott's surprise, they wanted to try surfing too. That's correct. So remember when Scott asked his parents if he could go put his swim shorts on so that he could try surfing, they said, of course. And after that, he was surprised that his parents are also going to put their proper swimming attire as well. Now, for the question in number four, I want Ethan to answer number four. Read your answer for number four. Why do you think Scott was surprised that his parents wanted to try surfing? Can you... Read it slow so I can type it again. Because Because was the God. first one who wants to try the surfing. I'm still here. Because God was after was. What's, ne what's next? The first one who wants to try the surfing. Okay, that's it? Did you finish until surfing? Okay. Because Scott was the first one to try the surfing. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. I'm just typing. Uh, I'm gonna make it smaller. Because Scott was the first one. Here you go. So your answer in here is because Scott was the first one to try the surfing. That's correct. But it's actually, I think, for me, um, I think he was surprised because, let's say for example, a question for you in the chat box. Do you think that your parents like YouTube and uh, how am I gonna call that? Uh, Log here. Would like and here. I have a question for you in the chat box. The question is, do you think that your parents? would like and also try YouTube and vlogging too. Yes or no? Before we, we relate uh, to our character Scott and his parents, the question for you is, do you think that your parents would like and also try 
YouTube and vlogging too. So I know that you're doing that one. You have a YouTube channel. But I want to know if would they also like to try? Okay, that's great. So it's the same with what happened to Scott's family. Even if, you know, they uh, it was their first time. Technically it was, even for Scott. They wanted to try it as well. It's the same with what you answered in the question. Even if your mom or daddy doesn't really, you know, um, they don't have the a lot of time to do YouTube and vlogging because they're working, right, for you. But then, they would like to try. And they would also like YouTube and vlogging for you as well. So your answer in here is correct. Because Scott was the first one to try surfing. So he was also surprised that his parents... Can we add that one? Lola, is there a space po ba sa baba in here? <laughs> Where um, we can add answer? Meron pa naman po. Meron pa naman po. Ito. Okay. Add so down. maybe we can add this one. I'm oh, going to write it in a different oh, color. Add so in here. I'm gonna type it first. So stop. Um, here. Spot. Okay. I'm going to type it first. Okay. You will not see it when teacher is typing. But do you think Scott was surprised? Yeah, I think. Was surprised. Because he didn't expect that. His parents would try it. Try surfing. Scott was surprised because he didn't expect that his parents would try surfing too. Do you agree with this one? I'm gonna write it in the chat box. Here, it's in color orange, so you'll know that that's our answer. So you can still write in here, okay? If you see the space, why is it yellow? If you see the space, you can still write in. Okay, we will copy this. Dito So, teacher wouldn't mind, okay? Since we have two answers. So, your answer is correct because Scott was the first one to try the surfing. That's right. But the question is, he, why do you think he was surprised? Like, right? So, technically, Scott was surprised because... He did not expect that his parents would try surfing too. And you know, I want you to understand that that's that's an example of how your parents love you, right? Because even if you know, especially me, I'm not really into um, a lot of social media apps. I just use the usual ones. But then, if my kid, I have a kid she's five if she shows me something then you know i'm also going to like try and would like to know about it anything that interests our children's you know hobbies then that's also something that we would like to try so it's the same with what happened with spot while you're writing i'm going to uh, uh, put a question in the chat box well, you're that writing, okay? Are you done? Uh, show to picture. Thumbs up to my picture. Thumbs up. Uh, show me a thumbs up if you're done writing. Oh. Okay. So, Lola, what I'm going to do na lang po is you can take a picture of his answer later when we're done. And then, mommy can send it to me in messenger po so okay. I can check his uh, answers and writing. But that's for later na lang po. So, since you are done, thank you, Lola. Is Scott's parents supportive? That's my question for you. You can answer with a yes or a no. So, since you knew that they wanted to try surfing as well, and Scott was surprised, the question for you in the chat box, is Scott's parents supportive? Yes or no?
let's see what your answer. Oh, it's the same with you, okay? You just said in the chat box that your parents, your mommy and daddy, would also like to try YouTube and vlogging. Thank you for your answer, Ethan. Your answer is correct. Yes, his parents are supportive. Why? Because it was their first time to do surfing and they wanted to try it for spot. And that's actually really nice. So, let's proceed to our number five. The meeting room will end, but let's finish number five first before we um, go out and go back again. So, in this part, kindly read number five. We're in number five. Here you go, number five. Based on the context, what do you think the word extravagant means? Extravagant. All right. Before you answer that one, I want to go back to the part of the story wherein the word extravagant was mentioned. So let me look for it. Extravagant. I think it's here. Yeah, Thank you, please. Ah, here. Next. Here, can you read this part? He could believe how extravagant accommodations were. Oh, in this part, he couldn't believe how extravagant the accommodation were. So I want you to remember the part wherein they climbed aboard the ship with his parents. It was their first time on a cruise ship. And when they walked around to check everything out, they, uh, he couldn't believe how extravagant the accommodations were. When we talk about extravagant, we can read on this part what's extravagant in there. Let me highlight. This one, and then here. This is what made it extravagant. Can you read this? The dining room looked like a royal hall. The game room had all of his favorite games, and then some. The ship's deck had several different swimming pools for different purposes. That's correct. It, what made this cruise ship extravagant was the dining room looked like a royal hall, which means it was very big and at the same time, it's, you know, very posh. It's like, you know, when you like go to, let's say, a castle and then there's the queen and the king. What else? The game room had all of his favorite games. So that's actually very nice. Imagine going to a cruise ship and then all of the games that you'd like to play are there. And not just the games that you want, even other games that you could also play with. And what else? The ship's deck had several different swimming pools for different purposes. So. Imagine seeing a very big ship and there's a lot of swimming pools that you can play and use at the same time. Now let's go back to our question. E number five. Okay, hold on. We still have time to write. So in number five, based on the context, what do you think the word extravagant means? Can you read your answer slowly so I can type it again? Give them your answer. Number four. And what number are you Okay, read it. Slowly, okay? Teacher will type. Okay. Thank you. Mm. What's, what's your answer? Mm. We're in number five. Expensive. Oh, one word only, expensive. All right. So I'm going to put expensive in here, and your answer is correct here. So this is Ethan's answer. You're just going to make it in a sentence form. We're in. I'm going to type the sentence. X. Okay. The word. 
Then I type it first so you can see it. I'm not sure if it will fit. Here you go. To make it a complete sentence, kindly write the one in purple. So remember, you can still write in this part, in the next line. Tell me if you're done, show a thumbs up, and then after that, we need to leave and then go back to kids. Because the meeting room has two minutes na lang. So I'm gonna wait for you to finish writing first, and then we'll finish off with number six. So when you're done, show me a thumbs up, so I know that you are done. So based on the context, what do you think the word extravagant is? And Ethan answered with the word expensive. And we made it into the word extravagant means it's very expensive. Which it is. So when it's extravagant, it's like not just very expensive, but also it has a wow factor. Wherein, you know, um, it's more than what we expect. More than, more than our expectation. That's why it's extravagant. Okay, are you done? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Are you done? Can I see a thumbs up? Alright. So, we're going to end the meeting room and then let's go back again. Because the meeting room is about to end. Thank you. So for number six, let's continue. Can you read number six for me, Ethan? Number six, number six. Here you go. In yellow. Mm. 
Why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents? Mm -hmm. So I want you to answer, uh, to read your answer. I'm gonna type it. Why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents, especially in the end? Can you read your answer slowly so I can type? Because. Mm -hmm. Because. He was moaning and groaning. He was, come again, he was? Moaning and groaning to... Oh, moaning and groaning, okay. To his... To his parents, okay. Parents, is that correct? To his parents? Okay. So your answer is going to type because he was moaning and groaning to his parents. So this is your answer. I'm just gonna make it small so it can fit. I to his parents. Okay. So this is actually correct, but we need to change other words in here and make it a complete sentence. So. Why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents? According to Ethan, because he was moaning and groaning to his parents. Which is correct. This one that you answered is actually part of... Wait, I'm going to go back to that one. Here. Um, please uh, don't mind the yellow one because that's for the question later. I'm going to highlight a different one in pink. So here. Uh -huh. So let's read this part. He apologized to his parents for initial, mo initial? initial moaning and groaning and told uh -huh. him it was his best vacation ever. Alright, that is correct. So in here, let's continue. He apologized to his parents for initial moaning and groaning and told them it oh this is where you got your answer and told them it was his best vacation ever. Now, your answer is not wrong. However, I want you to answer more than what the story tells us. See? I want you to reflect. Reflect on what really happened in the story. So I'm going back to that one here. And this time, I want you to reflect. Why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents? Aside from the moaning and groaning. Remember, pag nagmo-moaning and groan, that's when um, he's, you know, nagre-reklamo in Filipino. Like, he's doing a lot of things like, ah, kakainis naman. Um... My, my plan did not go well. Why do I have to follow my parents? That's how you moan and groan. So in this part, let's answer with a different one. Why would you, why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents? I'm gonna give you questions in here. Or maybe since it's the last one, can you um, type in the chat box any word or word? wherein you realize why Scott apologized to his parents. Mm -hmm. Aside from the moaning and groaning, the question in here is, why do you think Scott apologized to his parents? It's okay if you're not going to answer in a complete sentence. It's fine if it's just word or bunch of words. I'm going to help you to make the sentence. But why do you think Scott apologized to his parents aside from moaning and groaning? It's okay if it's just one word. I want you to try. Anyway, this is the last, the last question. I want Ethan to try and answer 
Why do you think Scott apologized to his parents? This is for me to know if you really understood the story that we had last week. Okay? So, I think this is the hardest question that I have for you. I do not have any option. However, I want Ethan to reflect. Why do you think Scott apologized to his parents? Can you give me a word or two to three words? If you put something in here in the chat box, I'll help you make a sentence out of it, right? I want you to think more than the story. Bakit kaya siya nag sorry in the end? Okay, that's in Filipino, ha? I forgot, Lola. I, I, I need to do Taglish pala with that. Sorry. I was doing like full English. So, bakit kaya siya nag-sorry sa parents oh, niya? Siya May nagawa ba siya sa cruise ship? Pasaway ba siya sa cruise ship? Or, nag-enjoy kaya siya in the end? What do you think? Like, at first, ayaw niya. But in the end, he said it was the best vacation ever. Mm -hmm. Did he apologize because he knew he was wrong? That maybe he can try? He wanted to try at first? What do you think? Uh, I can see your typing. Even with just one word, two to three words, that's also fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is he typing po or not going to put choices na po, Lola? Oh, there. Thank you so much, Ethan. This is actually very nice. Thank you for trying. And your answer was correct. He was sorry. And I'm going to help you with this one now, okay? So I'm going to type with your answer in orange. Scott. Okay, sorry, you will not see it still because teacher is still typing. Scott was sorry because in the end, he had the best vacation. Oh, sorry. Vacation ever. Here you go. So kindly type this one. And your answer is correct. I just added to make it a complete mm. sentence. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, why would Scott have wanted to apologize to his parents? Ethan and teacher's answer is, Scott was sorry because in the end, he had the best vacation ever. See? So, this is actually a very nice story. I hope you can relate with this one. Well, you're writing, okay? I want you to listen. I want you to understand that even if your initial plan for your summer vacation is to just stay home and play, I want you to know that your parents and Lola, even your Lolo, wanted you to try something new this summer vacation. And it's also for you to learn a lot of things, especially in reading and writing, right? And hopefully, after the sessions that we will have this month, it will also be your best vacation ever. So when you're done, kindly show me a thumbs up. That means I know that you're done. Sorry, nag ano tayo lola ha, nag five minutes. Uh, okay, OT tayo five minutes. Okay lang po. Okay. Makagutok na po kayo. Hindi pa naman po. Thank you po lola. So finish the sentence and we are done. For this story lang, okay? Let's... Mm -hmm. So, um, when Ethan is done, Lola, you can take a picture of his worksheet po mm -hmm. and then send it to mommy and then I'll ask mommy to send it to me po in okay, messenger. So. Noted po. So I can check his work po. Okay, baka po kasi hindi comfortable si Ethan itaas yung worksheet niya, no? 
paulit-ulit or uh, show you it at You so, can show it to teacher your, ano, if you're done. Show your... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can actually see. Oh, you're already done? Yes, okay. po. Okay. Let me, let me remove the screen para malaki yung screen so I can see your... Oh, there you go. That's actually really nice. Thank you so much. How about until five? Can I see your five? Okay, there. So, oh, yeah. Um, Lola will just take a picture so I can see the whole thing. Okay, po. You can put it down now. Okay. Thank you so much for today. So, Ethan, I hope you learned something about Spot because technically you can really relate to him now that you are also in your summer vacation. And we are already done with the story. Thank you so much for listening to teacher and also answering all the questions, even if I have other questions aside from the worksheet. Now, on Wednesday, we will be doing the next worksheet. There's no story anymore for the next worksheet, so we can do a different one. But don't worry, because teacher will still help you for you to be able to make sentences. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, Ethan and Lola. I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye, bye. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, go. Okay. Okay,